Hey guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. <laughs> As I'm saying it, I'm trying to like keep it coherent in my head and then my mouth just goes, I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. I actually said that better than, okay. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California and today, that's what I, this is where I blow it, and today. What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California and What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. <laughs> All right. What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. I was gonna say and today. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California and welcome to Add to Cart episode two. What the heck is Add to Cart episode two? Well, I, this is episode two of my kind of monthly or quarterly favorites. Just products that I've been using that I just love. This one will say is the gift guide edition because the holidays are coming up, depending on when you're watching this. And these are some great gifts if you wanna give a photographer or you wanna treat yourself. So let's jump into it. First up, oh, a roll of film, nice. Why was that so hard to open like what? Okay. This is Psychedelic Blues film. So I will link this below. It is Ultramax 400 and this guy makes it in LA. He basically has a process where in a dark room he exposes the entire roll of film. He puts it into this thing and exposes it to light with all sorts of weird colors. He has different versions of it. I went with number three. That's my favorite. It's just kind of beautiful light leaks. And then he rolls it back up and then he sells you this roll. So this is Ultramax 400, which is maybe about five bucks a roll. He charges, I think about 12 or 13 bucks a roll for the process and delivering and all that stuff that he does. And so I will show some examples of this. It is super fun film to shoot with, especially if you're just shooting that's something that's kind of not super interesting to begin with. If you're just shooting family or fun places and you love that light leak look, that's a hard thing to say, light leak look. The look of light leaks. <laughs> if you love that look, um, this is great. Especially I've done it some couples photos and everything. It's just really fun. You just kind of unexpected. Um, I like the look of Ultramax. I haven't really shot it just normal without the light leaks. But yeah, check out Psychedelics Blues film. Love this. Great gift too. You can buy one roll, a couple of rolls, whatever. Next up, the Contax T2. This is a pretty hefty gift for yourself or for someone else. I think they're running around $500 to $800 on eBay. But this is the best little point and shoot. I'm gonna do a full review on this. I'll link that if it's already out. But I just love this camera. It takes beautiful photos, great size. What I love about it too and why I bought it was you could just hand it to someone and they're gonna take a great photo of you. There's nothing really to mess up. There's not many features on it, which is great. It just kind of takes all the thinking out of it and just lets you shoot photos, which I love. So check out my full review of this, but yeah, Contax T2, get it. Next up, I have two different sets of headphones. So a couple months ago, I bought these Bose headphones. I bought them for, I bought these just for editing photos and just the noise canceling features at my house. Doesn't work with the beanie on, but they're super comfortable. These are the Quiet Comfort 2s. Um, they, Bose has since released another one that has kind of a skinnier headband um, and they don't have that great of reviews. I haven't tried those, so I don't know how those compare to these, but these Quiet Comfort 2s, work super well. The battery lasts like 20 hours or so. Um, if you know Chase Reeves, he does crazy breakdowns of tons of different products. He did a super in-depth analysis of headphones and this one ended up winning. Um, and I really trust his opinion on products just because he knows what he's talking about. He does a thorough analysis. He compared the packaging, the design of the quality, the feel, the sound, the battery life, the price, he took all those factors into account in these one. So yeah, these are great headphones. They'll run you about $350 during Black Friday or some sort of sale. You could probably get them down to like 279 or so, I think I've seen them for, so totally worth it. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're 
amazing and they'll last you a long time. So yeah, they're Bluetooth, noise canceling, the sound is incredible. I really love Bose sound and so yeah, the, I got the silver ones, I make these in black too. So yeah. Then I just got the AirPods Pro. I've been using those wired headphones from Apple forever and I've been wanting AirPods for a while but I was waiting for these ones to come out. So these are the little guys. This is my left ear and my right ear. You guys know AirPods. What the heck am I trying to tell you about? But yeah, super comfortable. There's earwax on this, that's disgusting. I need to clean my ears, note to self. Okay, but they fit real nice in this little case. They're super small. They, these new ones have noise canceling. The battery life is incredible. This charging case actually charges it more if you take them out and put them in it, it holds a charge. Um, this is wireless charging, so you just set it down on a wireless charger and that charges. To sync to your phone, you just open it up when it's nearby. AirPod Pros show up, tells you the battery life. I don't know if you can see that, but pretty rad. So, nice little feature right there. I love these. You don't really need both, but I use them for different reasons. Sometimes I wanna lay down or lay on my side or whatever and I wanna watch YouTube videos and I can use these. Um, definitely for editing and somewhere I'm gonna be for a while. I like these. Traveling too are really great, but these are great for traveling too. I love driving with these, um, listening to podcasts, being able to jump on phone calls, um, do whatever. These are great. If you can only choose one, I would choose whichever one makes sense that you're gonna use more. Um, the sound's definitely better with these. These are more comfortable. The sound's good in these too, so I don't know. It just depends on kind of what you're looking, need you're looking to fill, but these are both incredible. Next up on the list, we have HoneyBook. I use HoneyBook for everything. I would have to hire an assistant if I didn't have HoneyBook, and it would probably suck because you'd have to spend so much time kind of informing the your assistant what's going on for them to try to keep it up date, try to keep it up to date. HoneyBook is incredible and just keeps all my information in one place. When someone inquires from my contact form on my site, it automatically creates a new project in HoneyBook and then I can start taking notes in there, I can send out pricing brochures, I can collect questionnaires. So I send questionnaires to my wedding couples so I can gather all the necessary information prior to the shoot. It's just amazing. I send invoices, track my payments, um, collect payments, sign invoices. I do all my messaging through there. I have a workflow pipeline. It's incredible. It's, it's like honestly having a virtual assistant. I remember when I was first starting my photography business, I was sending out paper contracts and asking for checks. It was so ridiculous and backwards and just old school. It was a bad experience for the clients. And so the cost of the program, it makes an amazing experience for your clients and it will be super easy for them. I've had very little problems with anyone learning how to use the system at all. So I would definitely check it out. And I remember going, oh my gosh, $400. That's a lot of money for a year when I was first starting out. But honestly, I'm glad I went for it because it helped build my business with me. It's kept all my information in there. I know all my records of my pricing and my um, payments and my uh, contracts and all of that is in there. And so I have a record of everything that I've done. So that was a super good decision for me to buy that. And since then I've just loved using it and I'm happily pay $400 every year for it. The nice thing is, is because I'm an educator for HoneyBook, I can give you a promo code where you get $200 off your first year. So that's 50% off totally worth 200 bucks. If you're doing more than I would say five projects a year, so if you're doing five shoots, uh, five weddings or whatever, and that's a number I made up, but I feel like anything less than five, you can kind of just figure out a way to manage and get it done. But if you're doing multiple shoots a year, this is worth investing in. It, after the first wedding that I used the system for, I was like, that was totally worth it. I wouldn't have to use that again and I knew it was worth it. So. I just love it. You also, at, when you sign up, you'll be able to sign up other people and give them your discount as well. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, go ahead and use my link below. You'll get $200 off. 
one thing that I do too that's special for you is I give you a three, three. One thing that's special to you, I give you a free 30 minute mentor session with me just by using my code. I'll get notified that you use my code and I'll reach out to you and we'll schedule a time. We can talk through HoneyBook, but we can talk through your business and your photography or whatever you want. It's all up to you what we wanna discuss for a mentor session. I send a little questionnaire to you through HoneyBook so I can gather some information about you and your business. And I can um, talk with you on our 30 minute free phone call and just give you as much help as I can with your business. The people that have used it and used my codes and got a free mentor session love it and freak out about it. And now I see them recommending it to people. So yeah, it's an amazing program. Um, it's definitely comparable to Dub Sato, Tave, 17 Hats, all these other programs. But I personally checked all of them and I love the features that HoneyBook had. And since then I've just fallen in love and I'm obsessed with it and I could not use anything else. So check it out. One thing I forgot to mention is there's an amazing community section of it where you can find gigs in your area, whether you want a second shoot for people, there's opportunities for family shoots or whatever, you can join this community of all the people in your area and you can find uh, jobs through this program. So that's pretty amazing too. Last thing on my list, you ready? This is the Hold Fast Money Maker Solo Strap. So it just holds one camera, as you can see, crossbody and it's got the really nice slider system that Holdfast is known for. Really great, um, originally designed carabiner hook that you can just quickly release. So when you're shooting, you can just kinda do your deal and pop it off if you need to. And everything is super well built. This is the, this is the water buffalo leather um, in water buffalo tan and the build is amazing. There's a, this extra little strap right here that connects here and in the back. And it's so this just doesn't move around a bunch. It just stays perfectly there. You'll see on your shoulder, there's a nice cutout for your head. You choose which side you want the strap on. This is for the right side. And it just is just really nice, well fit and is really comfortable. It makes it wide so that it takes a lot of pressure off your shoulder. This is really cool too. They sell an additional little strap where you can connect bags or connect things to it. I like to connect a bag just right here like that. So I'll shoot like this. Boom. And that's kind of my go-to when I travel places where I'm just shooting for fun. I like to have either my Contact 645 with me or an SLR or DSLR, um, depends on what I'm shooting. And then this medium wide pouch, I can throw my contacts T2 in here. I can throw another lens in there. I can throw more film, uh, speaker, snacks, whatever I want, I can kind of throw into this little pouch. And then I have my camera and then maybe an additional camera or extra gear in there. So I just love this Moneymaker Solo. This is my go-to setup for when I'm traveling and it's made by Holdfast, so the quality is incredible. It's made in America. It's just well made. I have a promo code. You can check it out in the description below. You get 15% off these straps. I'm a Holdfast ambassador, so I get a small referral fee if you use my link. Would love for you to use my link. If not, whatever, that's okay. I've been wearing Holdfast for years before I started working with them and I just love their products, they're incredible. So definitely check it out. I have the Moneymaker dual strap where you can hold two cameras. I have the three camera strap where you can put a third camera on your chest. I've got the Bolo. Um, I've got a ton of products by them. They're incredible and they just make the best products in my opinion. So check them out, the link is below. Well, that's it. Those are my add to cart items for this episode two. I hope you enjoyed that. If there's some products that you're using that you love that you think I should check out, please link those below. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do this every couple months as I get new stuff that I've just been using and loving. I wanna make sure that I'm keeping you guys up to date with these. Definitely don't feel like you need to buy stuff to be a better photographer. I'm usually trying to buy stuff to just um, improve my workflow or make my life easier. And so that's usually what my products fall into. And then also I'm obsessed with photography, so I'm buying gadgets here and there too. So yeah, if you like this, please comment below, please like and subscribe, do all that good stuff. Appreciate it, thanks guys. What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. 
That is such a mouthful. What's up guys, I'm Tony Wood. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. Maybe I just need to slow down. What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. <laughs> Forgot who I was. What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a wedding photographer out of Southern California. And today, why do I always do the and today? What's up guys, starting over. 